One of Windows Phone 10's greatest features, and the one that probably sets it apart from all the other operating systems, is called Continuum. Essentially, this feature allows you to plug in a monitor or a TV uh, to turn your Windows Phone into a quote-unquote full-blown Windows PC. So it's pretty simple to set up, but it's not quite that simple. Uh, also, there are some differences between it and a full-blown Windows desktop. So I figured in this video I would show you how to set it up, what Continuum actually is, and what it can actually do and not do. So essentially there are three main ways to set up Continuum. You basically need a way of getting the phone screen to be projected onto either a monitor or a TV, and you also need an input device, namely a mouse and a keyboard. So the most obvious way of doing this is to use the display dock, which is a purpose-built accessory just for Continuum. This small brick allows you to connect your phone to any monitor or TV that has either an HDMI or display port. You can then use its other ports to connect a keyboard, mouse, or other peripherals. Besides the USB-C port that you use to connect your phone to it, that also charges the phone, by the way, it includes three USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI port, a display port, and a micro USB port. The downsides to this method is the fact that it has its own power adapter that you have to carry around. You also have to carry around the display dock itself if you're traveling, uh, and it's about $99. Another way you can get Continuum to work is by using Miracast. Miracast is a protocol for beaming your display wirelessly to any monitor or TV. Some TVs even have it built in, so if that is the case for you, you could just open the Continuum map, tap wirelessly connect, and it'll just connect right then and there, done. If you don't have a display with that built in, you can easily just buy a Miracast dongle, um, click the link below for the one that I used in this video, uh, and that will plug into any HDMI port on any monitor or TV and essentially do the same thing, allow you to wirelessly cast the screen. Now, the real benefits of this are obviously there's no wires, uh, but beyond that it's also just super portable. Most of these little Miracast dongles are very small, Chromecast size, and they can be put in your pocket for the most part. Finally, you can use a good old-fashioned USB-C to HDMI cable. Regardless of which of these methods you use to connect your phone to a monitor or TV, the best thing for you to do to get a mouse and keyboard to work is to get a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. I used this mouse because of its small size, accuracy, and the fact that it doesn't need a dongle. I also used this keyboard um, basically for the same reasons. If you want to know which keyboard and mouse I used, you can click the link below uh, for where to get those. But honestly, any Bluetooth keyboard and mouse will work. So now that we have it set up, it is a bit of a misnomer to say that it's a full-blown Windows 10 computer. Now, while it may seem that way at first glance, there's a few things that it really just can't do. First up, there is no actual desktop. Uh, instead of having a desktop and a start screen, which is what it kind of looks like, it's actually just a static image in the background and your phone's start screen. So the difference between this and a regular desktop uh, is that you can't actually put anything on that static image. No icons, no shortcuts, nothing like that. Next up, there is no real multitasking or Windows, for that matter. Uh, anytime you open an app, it just takes over the entire screen, uh, opening it on your phone, pulls it from that screen back to your phone, uh, and you can never really have two running side by side. As soon as you open another app, it replaces the other one that's open. And finally, the big one. Uh, contrary to what most of us were led to believe at the launch event, the phone version of Windows can't actually run normal Windows apps. The only thing you can actually use are programs that are meant for an ARM processor. So this is very similar to the old Windows RT on the original Surface. With all that said, you're probably wondering what can it actually do? Well, it can allow the apps that actually do work, like the Office Suite, for example, to run in much the same way that they do on a desktop computer. And with the assistance of a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, you can use them a lot more efficiently than you can on a phone. Also, those downsides I mentioned are just at the time of me doing this video. The hope, hope is that Microsoft actually gets past those things, allows you to install real apps, has a full-blown version of Windows 10 that allows for multitasking, etc. If they could do that, it would be a pretty cool feature. I mean, you can imagine yourself taking this phone with you, the little Miracast dongle and the Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, and say you were on the road and at a hotel room, boom, now you have a full-blown computer uh, anywhere that you possibly would go. This might also help people justify buying a Windows phone, not as a phone, but as an ultra-portable computer. There you guys, quick video explaining what Continuum is and how to set it up and how it works, etc. Um, if you like this video uh, or if you like the idea of Continuum or anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. I love reading your comments and uh, 
chatting with you guys there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video though, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, please follow me on Twitter as I'm trying to be more active there. Uh, you can chat with me there and it's at the unlocker with the E missing in the word unlocker. As always, thanks for watching.